Namo Buddhaya. This is about uh, this video that I am making is about uh, my learnings from the Middle Discourses 29. The title of this video is the uh, sorry the, not the video it's basically the title of this sutta is the longer simile of the heartwood. The link to the detailed uh, uh, the sutta is given in the description. You can read the uh, the entire sutra to get your own insights. So this sutta I am just giving sharing my learning essence of what this sutta is all, all about. So basically this sutta is about uh, uh, Buddha is speaking about uh, uh, Devadatta. So he was staying uh, in the Vulture Peak mountain and uh, not long after Devadatta had left, Buddha had uh, spoken about this to the mendicants. Now just to understand about the history of Devadatta. So Devadatta is actually a difficult character in the, in the whole thing. Uh, he was Buddha's cousin. Uh, he, he also came into the Buddha's Sangha but uh, he's kind of after he achieved his attainment of meditation some attainments his desires and all grew to become kind of a to lead the sanghas and everything and then with from that desire that arose his super normal powers that he had accomplished uh, in his meditation they all went away because he kind of misused them so and then basically he ultimately he died in disgrace right so basically here from that kind of a his life story Buddha is basically advising the mendicants that that <coughs> mendicants take the case of a gentleman who had gone forth from the lay life to the homelessness, right? Thinking I am swamped by rebirth, old age, and death, right? Hopefully, I can end this entire mass of suffering. And once they 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 go into homelessness and they achieve they uh, they 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 achieve something, they generate possessions honor and popularity so they start glorifying themselves and put others down and think that i am the one with the positions honor and pros and popularity and the other mendicants are obscure so they become indulgent and fall into negligence and being negligent they live in suffering so buddha is trying to say is that on your spiritual path you'll find small small you know siddhi some small small kind of uh, uh, results results or benefits that will come so but we have not to get stuck in them we have to keep focus on our ultimate goal, which is arhanship, becoming free from all defilements. So we don't have to get stuck in and then glorify ourselves that, you know, or desire for power, you know, all that if we do, then we will even lose the merit that we have attained and we will live or and die in suffering. So here Buddha is giving this analogy of a heartwood that um, wandering in search of heartwood, a uh, person comes across a large tree of a heartwood, but then he he cuts off the branches and leaves and imagines that they are heartful. So that kind of an analogy in detail that Buddha has given. So essential is that please do the uh, do the you know do your practice for the sake of that particular goal that you are after and don't think anything else to be that particular goal, right? So so that is what Buddha has said. Right? Towards the end, they so I will just read this para that uh, those people who are when they go when they are not happy with what they don't glorify themselves, they don't put others down, nor do they become indulgent. Right, being diligent, they achieve accomplishment in ethics. They don't glorify themselves. No, they don't become indulgent. They achieve immersion. Uh, right, so that is basically at the end they achieve irreversible freedom. Irreversible freedom means nirvan, arhanship, which so finally a freedom that cannot be you know taken back from them. Otherwise, so example was of Devdatta that when when he got uh, those small benefits of meditation and he used those benefits to show himself to uh, Ajat Sattu that he is something very big. And then even those benefits were taken away, right? It is given in the Vinaya, uh, uh, in the Vinaya, uh, uh, this is the, the count of Devadatta is given, right? Uh, so, so finally in this uh, Sutta, this at the end, towards the end, there is this learning of Buddha. Buddha says, Mandakins, this spiritual life is not lived for the sake of possessions, honor and popularity or for accomplishment in ethics 
or for accomplishment in immersion or for the knowledge and vision rather the goal heartwood and the final end of the spiritual life is the unshakable freedom of the heart this is what the buddha said satisfied the mendicants approved of what the buddha said so this is like specific one learning uh, that keep your focus on the goal there will be benefits that will you will get but don't get stuck in those benefits i hope this video was useful do read the discourse do get your own insights and learnings from this uh, discourse and do share it in the comments section namo buddhaya thank you so much